Would you like to take your drawing of an organizational chart or maybe you've been sketching something out or you've got something that for whatever reason isn't in the tool like uh, Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel that you want it in? If so, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you a quick way you can do this um, using some AI tools and taking a screenshot or just using your phone um, to go from something like that on the screen, which is what I hand drew, something as poorly written as that, and getting it into the software tool you need. Now, the reason you might wanna do this would be, you know, maybe it's a one-time thing and you don't really care about learning how to do this in different software tools, um, or again, maybe somebody's given it to you, or again, you just gotta do it and it's gotta be done and you don't need to learn about, oh, this is how this works in this software tool. So a great way to use an AI tool is for something like this. Um, just a couple things you need to be aware of. There are some, some things that it can do wrong. Um, and you'll know pretty quickly if you make the org chart and it doesn't look right. Um, so let's just go ahead and do an example. Um, I've got that picture I showed you that of the org chart I drew. And I'm using it here, Typing Mind. This is just a tool I use um, that you can um, use different models with, but you can just use ChatGPT, go wherever you need to go, take this picture, um, or if you have a screenshot, and then tell it something like, um, create an org chart that I can use in Google Sheets from the provided image. Okay, so there we go. We can see the image pop up. It's gonna do its thing, go through there um, and pull out the data and hopefully put it into a format that we can then take it uh, and go into Google Sheets. Now, I noticed earlier that um, it gave some additional information, um, which is kind of handy, but basically what you need is this. Um, this table data right here. And this changes, I've run this a few times, and the one thing I did notice that sometimes it gets wrong was the very top of the org chart. So if you have an org chart like this where there's one person, one position, one thing at the top, there needs to be a, that label with a blank next to it because this is basically saying, who is this person in the column A and then column B, who do they report to? Well, the person at top doesn't have anyone, at least on this org chart. Uh, that they report to. So that has to be there. So let's go ahead and take this in and I can show you what happens if you don't have that. So we're gonna copy, paste that in, and then we can just keep the same thing and we are going to go insert chart. And then let's scroll down and you can see it right here, organizational chart, and there we go. So really handy uh, to have that done. And of course, this was uh, for Google Sheets. Um, you could ask it for different tools um, on the website. You know, I've gone through a bunch here where we have Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Um, and so I would start with these, um, but if you just need it for a, a spreadsheet based program like Excel or Google Sheets, this could be really handy. Hopefully that helps you quickly get an org chart up and running. If you wanna go from a drawing into something like Google Sheets really quickly, this is a handy way to do it. If you have any comments or questions, leave it below and I'll get back to you.